Hey guys, I'm Chris. Welcome to Show Me the Hogs. I'm out here bright and early at Forest Park. Going to be doing some trout fishing. Today I'm going to be using some trout magnets. Never used these things before, so we're going to see how well they catch trout. Time to go to work. Missed him again. Well, guys, I have had two hits and I missed both of them. Unreal. Oh, he's after it. No, he dropped it. He dropped it. That's what I get for you. There he is. Got him that time. Finally, got a hook up. It's been a little bit slow going. But we finally got a fish on. Oh, boy, he's hot. All right, ain't that big, but I don't really care. Looking at this guy. Got him. Well, thank goodness for long handles, guys, because uh, yeah, fishing off this concrete pad would be a pain in the butt without a net. Trap magnet catches fish number one. Beautiful stuff. Ain't that big, but man, that's pretty fish. That is a pretty fish. I'll break the ice. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. I went over to a split or a little clamp sinker instead of the float. Let's see if I couldn't get some action doing that way. I just wasn't feeling it, so I switched back over to a strike indicator and bam, first cast, we got a fish. Love it. Love it. Get down there, get him, got him. All right, another little guy. Never get tired of catching these guys. They're not out on the wild, wild rainbows browns and such but I'll take these guys all day long so this is what I'm using today the trout magnet with the you know, the pink variety the gold jig and a floating net underneath this bobber seems to be working Let's see if we can catch some more fish oh, got him boom oh we came off Unbelievable. Oh, got a bite, got a bite. Got him. All right. Sweet. Oh, this feels like a really good fish. Dare I say the best fish of the day so far? All right, let's keep him on the line. Loosen up our drag a bit. Eh, I don't know. He might be the nicest one. I don't care. I'm just grateful to be out here fishing. Oh my gosh. All right. Right in the corner of the mouth. Bam. Beautiful. About the same size as the other two. See you, buddy. Keep going. Keep going. Use the momentum. Got him. He came for it, and then it stopped, and then he came back for it. All right. Feels like we get a good hookup. All right. Good stuff. All right. Oh, looks like the trap magnets work, guys. Let's net him. Well, he's not ready yet. Keep him out of that stuff. Definitely don't want to get him stuck in that brush. That would spell certain doom. Alright, can we 
shooting at him. Got him. All right, that is by far the best trout I've caught today. All right. Well, he ain't that fat, but long and skinny. See you, buddy. All right, guys, so what I'm doing here, I've got my strike indicator about two, two and a half feet above the trout magnet. And I'm really targeting these aerators out here, especially in Forest Park, but in other parks that have trout with aerators in the lake. I don't know why, it just seems like the trout congregate around those a lot. So I'm hammering those. It doesn't mean you can't catch trout elsewhere on the lake, but it just seems like there's always a good number of trout around these aerators. And so when I'm fishing with this float with the trout magnet, I'm kind of just always keeping the line somewhat tight. Uh, I'm just basically trying to keep a lot of the slack line out so that whenever I do get a strike, there's not so much slack line that it's preventing me from getting a good hook set. Also, I really like this and it's not really anything you can control obviously because you can't control the, the weather, but whenever there's like a little bit of wake on the water from the wind, it, it bobs that bobber up and down ever so slightly and it kind of gives, even when you're fly fishing with a strike indicator and using like a marabou jig or a salmon egg, woolly bugger, and when in my case today it's with this this trout magnet it just kind of jigs that little thing up and down just a little bit give it a little extra life and uh I, I find that that's when i have the the most success the best action is when there's a little bit of wind a little bit of wake on the water and it kind of jigs that thing up and down so we're going to keep at it hopefully we'll catch some more got them all right I wasn't sure if that was my imagination or if that strike indicator was going under. You know, I've moved away from calling this thing a bobber because I fly fish so much with a strike indicator. I just call it strike indicator or a float. So I guess technically it's the same thing, but I don't know why I don't call it a bobber anymore. I guess because of all the fly fishing. Oh man, this is a good trout. Oh. Oh, it's so cold out here. You know what's the best thing about, best way to keep warm out here on a cold day is to catch some fish. I well, ain't coming in easy. All right. All right, let's see if we can net him. Oh, I got him, all right. Excellent stuff. Beautiful fish. Very nice. A little thicker than the last one. Maybe just as long. Maybe a little shorter, but beautiful. Let him go. See you later, buddy. Mission accomplished. If you guys are into trout fishing like we are, we'd appreciate if you consider subscribing. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram where we have a community of guys that share stories, pictures, ask questions, give answers, all that good stuff. Hope to see you there, and we'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.